Hi, welcome to Creative Conversations. I'm April. We're here in Vermont in this garden room. You can see my very messy studio behind me. And today we're going to talk about needle felting. Needle felting is like painting with wool. You're going to love it. Super user-friendly craft and is um, simple enough for beginners. It's easy to carry around, easy to do at home or on the road. Don't be intimidated. It is not sewing. There is a needle, but you're just poking it. So really quickly, here's what you need. I will go over it again in more detail, but you need a foam block, you need um, felting needles, you need a piece of wool felt, and you need wool roving, which is like unspun wool. So a friend introduced me to uh, needle felting by sending me a pack of supplies one Christmas, and I was in the Cayman Islands. So um, I didn't really know much about it at all. So it's very self-teaching, it's very forgiving. So I ended up doing a parrot, but I didn't, wasn't quite able to put his tail onto the wool, so <laughs> I just let it hang down. So it's a friendly craft. It'll get along with you. This is our needle felting kit, and it comes in a super cute box, reusable box, that you're going to be able to keep all your um, wool in later. So everything you need is in the box. This is the wool roving, the little rosettes of wool and a whole color palette. These are the wool felts. And this is what you need to felt on a foam block. At the end of the foam block, there's three felting needles. So it all fits nicely into here. And there's instructions inside as well. And they come in, I think, seven different color palettes. So it's really, they're all curated um, April Cornell color palettes. But it's all going to go together, what you see in there. So you can, if you have a little color anxiety, this is all put together so it'll work together. This is our wool felt bundle. So this is the uh, wool that you're going to need to make your, do your felting on. They're also curated in color palettes. See how pretty that is? Um, and it's 80% wool, 20% upcycled fabric. So that's kind of cool too. Comes wrapped with a lovely piece of crochet. So you can choose different bundles and then you have, you know, lots of colors for your projects. If you're really going the Victorian kind of soft pastel look, this is a beautiful one to use. We have extra wool roving that we sell also in that pretty little re reusable box where you can get the rosettes. Again, there's three color palettes. This is a harvest palette, obviously. You might want to invest in all three so then you have a nice range of... Uh, colors to work with for different seasonal subjects. So these are felting needles, extra felting needles in a little tube. If you get into this, you're going to want more needles because part of the um, poking when you're felting will break the tip off the needle. There's a separate tip and that will break off over usage. So get yourself extra needles if you like it. Some people have been concerned about how they make a, their own pattern. So we've uh, developed some um, heat transfers, iron-on heat transfers, three different stories. This one's our cottage uh, garden motif, so florals. And um, you just, you, there's a lot of motifs in there. You can open them up, take a look. There's instructions. I've already cut one image out of here, so I'll, I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. all those different motifs. So you can cut out a motif, iron it onto your wool felt, and then follow, follow that as you're tracing. They are not highly detailed deliberately because wool felting is fluffy. You don't need a lot of fine lines and details. Here's the one I've cut out. It's a flower pot of tulips. So now we're going to iron on our transfer. You can see we've done a couple already. Um, it doesn't have to be really dark because it, you just need a brief outline. Um, it will get fainter with multiple uses, but you can use this multiple times. My daughter-in-law, Jess, she's the technical one in the family, so she's going to do the ironing. That's awesome, Jess. And there we go. Ready to roll. 
So wool felting is a very friendly craft. It's easy to do. You're basically poking a needle. I'm going to give you a demonstration on it and you'll see how easy it is. Right now I've got my foam block, I've got my piece of wool felt, and I've got wool roving in my hand, plus what is really like my paintbrush, my needle. So you don't get bored. We speed it up the next few seconds, uh, compressed um, the felting into a very short span. You can see I'm using the needle, much as I might use a paintbrush, to put in the flowers. And I do, what I'm careful about is the shape, but basically they're little blobs of color. I'm filling in each flower. And then afterwards I go back and shape them and add more colors. I, you're basically poking. Um, the wool roving in and you only need a very small amount of wool roving just pull out a little bit little goes a long way so right now I'm taking another color and trying to build up the interest in the leaves much like painting where you may lay down one color and add shading or detail on top that's how I treat um, wool felting so you see and you can pull those fibers over the middle and give a little shading there too. See like that? You just keep building that up and making it more interesting or keep it very simple if you like. I'm very fond of green so I like to mix different greens together. So it's very forgiving uh, craft so if you don't like something you can just remove it and start over. You can't reuse this stuff. It's already felted together. So that is one thing you'll get rid of. A turquoise for my bucket and I'm laying a larger piece of wool roving down flat and folding it in. I've started the bucket and now I'm adding another blue as a highlight in the center of the bucket. So that's where you get this whole painting feeling by adding the color and this is kind of open to do how you like. So you're getting a little bit of a heavy line there so you can pull it apart and make it a little more like a shadow, a little more blurry. Isn't that pretty? So, you know, nothing's one color. When the light hits it, it's multicolored. So I'm gonna do the stems and actually it took me a while to figure out how to get a really thin piece of wool roving, just pull it apart and do something thin like that. You can add more if you need more. Just kind of like a thin paintbrush, very thin stem. And also I don't want the stems to be that important in this, so I'm going to make them very thin. After you get your general layout done, you can start going back and highlighting. I'm going to like highlight my leaves. I'm going to pull up the turquoise color from here and add little hints of that into the leaves, make it more interesting. As you can see, you don't need a lot. You can just let a few um, pieces go over and that gives a nice, almost feels like shading. So one of the challenges after you make something is what do you do with it? Um, you can frame it traditionally or you can do, I think this is super charming, hanging it on a twig, doubling up the fabric or just stitching it across the back and then making a uh, yarn um, holder like that, a couple of tassels on the end. So here's a fun idea. You could do a Zoom call with your sisters or girlfriend and everybody could felt their own piece. Afterwards, when we're all out and about, you can have a little vernissage and bring all your pieces along and have your own little art show together with your friends. Wouldn't that be fun? So here's my own little uh, vernissage here with my backyard birds. I always like to um, draw, paint, felt things that are around me. 
So another idea is to take a wool jacket or sweater you might have, have at home or a hat and felt right, wool felt, needle felt right onto it. In this case, I uh, washed it afterwards in hot water to shrink it up a bit. Here's a beautiful uh, Tibetan wool blanket with a felted rose on it. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, share it so we can add to our community in this creative conversation. If you comment, I promise I'll respond. I read every comment and I really enjoy them. Thank you. So I would love to see what you're doing. Why don't you post a picture in the comments and we will all get to share your artwork. Thank you and see you next week.